So, I feel like something is happening in divine timing here when it comes to a, a decision that needs to be made. Someone seems to be sitting in a space of decision when it comes to you or some type of loyalty or commitment, trust, time. Someone also feels like time is on their side. They could also be using time as a tool. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is wanting to move closer, take action when it comes to you. This energy is coming out as someone who has burned a bridge with you or has brought fire into your life. This could also consist of tension or great disappointment, but I feel this is someone you could be guarded or vulnerable to. This energy could be coming out as a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Please take it how it resonates with your message. That is not for everyone, but you're dealing with a masculine energy here. Someone who has left something to mystery. Hmm. I feel something is left up in the air here with the air card when it comes to trust, loyalty, and a, and a decision that needs to be made. This is why you're guarded. Because someone has yet to tell you the full truth. This is why there is a lack of an apology. Because someone got too comfortable in some type of facade. I feel this is someone who is isolating themselves, yet detached in regret. So it seems like this energy could be closed off because they're too comfortable. This is why someone could be in their head about you being guarded. This energy is coming out as masculine, which doesn't mean it's male or female, but please take it how it resonates. This could also be a female who sits in masculine energy, yet someone is definitely in a space where they're trying not to be in regret, so they're not speaking a truth. Hmm. So it seems like this energy is on a facade when it comes to being bound, their patterns of being toxic. This is why someone is closed off. But I feel the lack of balance has caused them to be detached and cold from something that is long overdue and definitely old to you. For many of you, this is someone who believes you are not open to receive. This, this is why something is chaotic. There's a storm where someone is confused by some type of illusion that they have created. So it seems like someone is in some type of confusion on why you changed. Hmm. This is why someone is knowing for a fact that you won't be open to receive or something just won't be so easy when it comes to gaining their position back with you. I feel this is someone who is also going through justice or karma here. And this is attached to them being cold or distant or bound to something that is keeping them in regret. This could also be a third party energy that has this energy in their head, but I feel due to this facade, something was faded. This is a detour that has caused you to be guarded or distant towards this energy, as there is truly a lack of trust. Hmm. So, it feels like there's a lot of emotion here. We also have the air card here of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as the water card here. Hmm. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hmm. So it seems like this energy is still yet to go with the flow or have any harmony within a situation. There's no stability when it comes to this energy who is wanting you to perceive or believe that all is well when it comes to this energy, but they're still in a state of resistance. This is someone who still has a lack of gratitude when it comes to you. There is a lack of abundance, and as I said before, someone is going through a lot of karma, and it's attached to their shadow self. So it seems like someone is a little bit confused on how things planned out or played out when it comes to an ending or a lack of closure with you. But I feel this energy's doubt, their sense of lack, and their pride and ego is definitely bringing them to a space where they know they should surrender, but this energy is still giving in to weaknesses, temptation, and even deception. This energy believes they are fooling others, but they are not even fooling themselves. This energy is in a space where they're lost, fragmented, hmm. still not realizing that their ego is keeping them broken and this facade is definitely taking them down the wrong path. This is why someone is needing to make a decision when it comes to family or a home or even a commitment, a connection. Someone needs to give an apology. Someone needs to seek some type of forgiveness, yet this energy is taking action in the wrong way.
I feel like this energy is used to manipulating things, having things their way, even trying to place things in your court, believing that you are the problem or wanting you to believe you are the problem, but this energy knows full well where the problems come from. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles energy here in the reverse. This is Earth energy of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something was knocked out of alignment here and someone is wanting to communicate some some type of message in the bottle when it comes to sabotage or even guilt someone is wanting you to believe that they are feeling some type of guilt for what they have done but i feel someone is only holding guilt for getting caught for something not going their way for the sabotage for being lost and fragmented when it comes to their cycles um so someone doesn't want you to see something about them that is obvious I feel like it wasn't obvious to you then, but I feel once you tried to love them or go deeper with this energy, something just became too difficult. The more you tried, the more they pushed you away. But I feel something is faded when it comes to someone surrendering or releasing something that keeps them cold and detached. In fact, I feel it is attached to a debt that needs to be paid. This is a contract where someone is not stepping into their intuition, but the fact that you are choosing to love self and step into your intuition. I feel the chemistry has definitely become different. Uh, so it feels like someone is experiencing a state of lack all because of the cycles. Someone is not wanting to admit how something got this way. It almost seems like this energy is wanting you to not believe something. Something is being driven in their dreams. It's almost like this energy is seeing you in their dreams or knowing they should make something right. But due to their lack of loyalty and emotional balance, they always seem to get it wrong. Let's give them a card here from this day. So it seems this energy is spelling to transcend. This energy is still sitting in a space where they're not tapping into their higher self. But I feel them stepping into a dark night of the soul, having to deal with their lies and secrets, is going to activate something with them that they didn't expect. I feel like this is someone who almost thought they had you right where they wanted you. But it's almost like they're starting to realize you're not even bothered. Hmm. This energy is starting to realize you're not as bothered as they thought you would be. And I feel that's starting to bother them. This is someone who thought you would somehow be waiting for them. This is why they're closed off, hoping they could get some type of reaction, but this energy is trapped, drowning in their own misery. Mm. Whatever they're going through is unpleasant, and this is why this energy is coming out as cold, heartless, brutal, unloving at some times. I feel many of you love deep, but I feel when it comes to this energy, they're very hard to love. This is someone who is always playing the victim, playing woe is me, never being accountable for their faults. This energy is very sneaky and neurotic. I feel this energy is unstable, unbalanced, and draining others. I feel being around this energy is taxing very fatiguing to be around someone who is unhealed. Hmm. Yeah, let them tell it they're ambitious, but I feel they're pushy and they have no limits when it comes to their arrogance. I feel this is someone who's sneaky because they're always looking for an opportunity, which also makes them impulsive. And someone you almost feel you can't even trust. I feel this is someone who is sneaky and almost devious at some times, but they're always seeming to play the victim, all because of their detached and selfish ways of stabbing others in the back. This energy has be, become thoughtless of their tox toxic or brutal ways. This is a narrow-minded individual who is non-committal, wanting to be free. This energy can be very vague at times, and I feel they do that with intention. I feel if you force the energy here, of this energy being unpleasant or detached, they get angry. Hmm. <sighs> because I feel like you could be dealing with a narcissist, someone who is entitled and somewhat delusional. I feel this is someone who could be very superficial at times, almost like a predator. 
always wanting what they want when it comes to their prey. This energy is very defensive about their wicked ways, always justifying being in opposition, projecting, never protecting. This energy is coming out as a liar who is always looking to deceive. Even when they don't have any reason to deceive or hurting anyone, this energy is always lashing out and justifying, excusing their bad behaviors. I feel this is someone who is projecting their lies and also being defensive and judgmental, trying to justify their denial. This energy is very brutal because they don't want to be vulnerable. I feel like this energy doesn't want to be vulnerable, but they're childish. But I feel their childish ways will soon bring them to a space of regret because they're still not being rational or logical about what they're trying to justify. Because there's no trust, there's no honesty, there's no reliability when it comes to someone who you believe has a stone heart because this energy has no reason to have toyed with yours. I feel like this energy is wondering what's going on with you. There is a lack of communication here. This energy is controlling and sometimes it can be kind of well, confrontational, hmm. disruptive, hmm. almost envious of how you was able to dust something off. I feel like this energy disappointed you in a big way, but I feel you didn't let it show. Hmm. And this is why someone is not being logical and not wanting to be vulnerable with you because they believe you're stronger. They're almost jealous of that, spiteful. But they're in a space where they're fearing a loss. Fearing a loss because of the un unhealthy habits. Unhealthy habits of someone who is trying to control you. Someone who has been spoiled by you. Who is now enraged and moody. Almost wanting to taunt you in some type of way. But this energy is coming out as undeserving and self-loathing. Almost sneaky sneaky in some type of way because of their narrow-minded mindset this energy is coming out as aggressive wow a parasite someone who is useless because of their mindset i feel like you challenged this energy in a big way and i feel like this energy ran to something that was weaker or something that didn't challenge them in the way that you did but i feel this is why they're wanting to connect but they're always justifying because this energy is sitting in a space where they feel like they don't measure up. This energy is right now playing the victim, sitting in the now, and this is what's making them cruel, heartless, emotionless when it comes to them being toxic, not being logical, and being defensive about what they know they have done to you. This energy is coming out as afraid. This energy is afraid to see the truth, face the truth, speak the truth. So they're sitting in some very prideful or conniving ways, contemplating something. Because they know they want to be closer to you. Hmm. So it seems someone knows they went too far. And I sense they're starting to realize not only did their petty gains fail to work out for them, but they also realized they lost what they thought they needed by chasing a thrill or playing some petty game with you. This is what's making someone heartless because of their superficial ways, being detached and backstabbing you just because they could. Many of you are in wondering why this energy made these choices, but I feel this energy doesn't have any answers for the many questions that you have because this energy has no logical reason for what they've done to you. They're always going to be on the defense. Always sitting in a space of greed, conniving ways. This is someone who is coming out as very selfish when they know they sabotage something with you. I feel there's a sense of guilt here. But I feel the fact that they're not wanting to be humiliated. Someone is being antisocial. However, someone is about to be nosy. <laughs> nosy enough to the point where they just might reach out to you. Let's get some more energy here. Stone cold heart here. This is someone who can be very cruel. Very cruel with their words, their energy, their light. And for many of you, you feel like they may not even have a heart. Because they're always coming out as unstable. Unstable, playing the victim. And this is where they feel like they have the energy or the space to hurt others. Because they're coming out as hurt and miserable. 
irrational. This energy is coming out as emotionally unavailable, wanting to come close because this energy is coming out as fixated on attaching themselves to you. So it almost seems this energy wants what they can't have, but also wanting you to put away something, not think about something. This is someone who is wanting you to move the way they do, meaning they make harsh decisions, but pretend everything is well. Mm. So it seems they're fixated on attaching themselves or even bickering with you, arguing with you, being combative with you. But I feel it's just them overthinking something because of their misconduct, their guilt of manipulating something. So it almost seems this energy doesn't have the tools you need to truly connect. This is why they're resulting to low vibrational ways to get a rise or attach themselves trauma bond with you but I feel that's not what you're trying to do you're trying to get them to level up to a different level but someone is pushing back not because they don't care it's because they don't have what you need to push past their immature ways because this energy is coming out as a manipulator someone who is an overthinker someone who's overthinking yet indecisive torn uncertain about why why they're complacent about you so they stick to these rebellious ways because they're sensitive. So it seems like someone is also indecisive about a sensitive situation because of their insecurities. I feel this is someone who is coming out as rebellious because they know they have weaknesses or addictions that they have yet to embrace, acknowledge, heal. So they resort to these in rebellious ways because of insecurities. This is someone who you don't believe could be very sensitive, but they are. They're coming out as guarded, delicate. I feel like you hurt th their feelings, and this is why they're coming out this way. So it's like this energy is being real pain with you. This energy is going to want to draw you in, but they're going to push you out again. So they're going to be dismissive towards you. As soon as you are locked in emotionally or invested, this energy is going to push you back out. This energy is just not used to loving as hard or even as consistent as you have or even as you do. As this energy is still being avoided when it comes to avoid, when it comes to tradition or rooted values. This is someone who has a fixed mindset. And this fixed mindset of being def defensive or dismissive will eventually cause many of you to just slip right through their fingers. Because many of the things they have done is unforgivable. Actions have to meet their words here. Uh, and for many of you, their, their words mean nothing at this point. All because of their lack of tradition. Their jealousy, their bad habits of not being able to give in to trust, being loyal. I feel like their childish ways is about to put them in a space of shame, disgrace, and a deep sense of regret. Because what they have with you is not just something that is lost and can't be vindicated. I feel this is someone who has that space, that opportunity, but they just don't have the tools, the mental balance to give it to you. So they lash out, pretend that it's you, when they know deep down it's them. They just don't know how to deal with it. So this energy, he sits in a space wondering if something can be salvaged or saved, yet time and distance has only made things worse because many of you will see the truth, which is something you cannot see, or continue to compromise, which is something you're no longer letting them use as a cop-out. This is someone who has some very neurotic ways of playing the victim or being heartless about their choices. This energy comes out as emotional, but also angry. And this is what's causing them to be emotionless or cruel, heartless at times, when I feel this energy has a lot of love and a lot of heart for you. So for some of you, you feel like this energy really doesn't have the tools or it seems like this energy would never change, but this energy thinks about it a lot. They just don't have the, the tools or the people around them to help them step into that light. I feel you were the one to help them find their way. I feel they burned that bridge with you. Uh, see, you know, someone doesn't know which way to go which path to take. This is indecision at a crossroads.
or someone is needing to come from an emotional space but they're moving out of strategy moving out of strategy playing, playing the victim when it comes to the smoke and mirrors that they are presenting hmm. so it seems like someone is pretending to be content and this is why someone is still moving out of strategy trying to avoid something so yeah someone is still avoiding something not trying to be vulnerable to the confusion that they have created someone is trying not to get swept up in something swept up in emotions someone is really tied and bound to something that is attached to you whatever it is it keeps them grounded there's peace magnetic pool that's it someone knows you're you're the end all be all if they're gonna fix it it, it starts with you fierce energy someone is getting all the signs to do so but they're pretending to be busy so for many of you someone is even hearing it in messages through sound song music connections through other people friends someone is bringing you up and it's tearing them down this is what's causing them to be more rebellious because someone knows you're not a doormat oh someone doesn't want to be lonely this energy is coming out as masculine because they're trying to put up a front of structure discipline and focus someone is also about to take action because they're tired of talk people talking and they're tired of thinking about you when they shouldn't be when they feel they shouldn't be this is a entanglement where someone is feeling stuck tied up mentally stressed when it comes to uh, something that used to fulfill them make them happy this was a, a peaceful moment that is now very confusing this could be a misunderstanding this is what this energy is saying to themselves they want to present something to you as a misunderstanding but you're not in the energy of avoiding something anymore and you're no longer emotional I feel you're gonna see something from a different perspective and someone's gonna put their foot in their mouth when it comes to you I feel someone needs to come at you very hmm, authentically. You're going to see past something. You're going to see right through the bullshit. And someone's in some type of smoke and mirrors era where they feel like they can fool you. But I feel you're going to cut the cord. If they come at you with some crazy stuff. This confusion, someone's going to have to break the chain when it comes to the mystery of a situation. Someone wants you to put both feet in. But I feel this is a mixed bag. So there's turbulence, emotion. Okay, so there's a lot of water energy here of someone being very emotional. This is a very emotional state for someone who's overwhelming and very intense. This could also be the love that you carry for this energy, but you can't give into it because it's a mixed bag. It's very complicated. So you do see the potential in this. And um, I have to say the truth here. It's the only reason you truly love this person. Not because this person was so great or they filled all the, the the fulfillments in your life. It's because of the potential they had here. But this energy failed to measure up. And when you gave them the opportunity, they ran. They ran to something weaker, something simpler. And this is what caused something to melt away. Soften. So it also seems someone wants you to soften your guard, let your guard down, and they're stressed about it. It's also a heavy burden for this energy. It brings them pressure, dread, but it's also attached to this ego that something melted away. So I feel like the idea of what you thought you loved about them has it's melted away when it comes to the potential. You're no longer avoiding something when it comes to someone's mask, the identities that they wear. This is what makes make something so complicated. You don't know what you love about them or what you, who you loved. This energy wants you to feel like they're ready. So they're trying to be prepared. But this energy is still moving out of ego and strategy. Smoke and mirrors. So this energy wants you to believe. There's no tension. But as I said before, this is someone who's looking to bicker with you. They want to go back and forth about the truth, the details, and they're going to mix things up. This energy is wanting to use your words and also the emotional history of this relationship against you. However, the case, this energy is hoping to communicate. This energy is coming in like a lightning bolt. This is a surprise. Okay, so someone is wanting to heal, replenish. This is what they're going to tell you. But I don't feel this is a fact. 
This energy is coming in like a lightning bolt, a sudden shift. This is unexpected. This energy is going to come at you like they're ready, but this is their strategy. This energy is about to speak to you, communicate. This could be a message through self, or this energy could send someone else your way to test the waters. But this energy is wanting to reach out. They feel they're ready, but they're also reluctant because they know you're cautious. This is someone who knows they have yet to resolve something, all because they can't accept something. Hmm. Something could be complete here. Many of you are still sitting in a space where you're resistant to something, but someone also knows you're unwilling, unwilling to play the game. So for many of you, you're unwilling to play the game. As long as this energy is sitting in ego, you're cautious. I feel this energy is coming out as un ungrounded, frazzled, unfocused. Hmm. And this is why the potential is lost. So for many of you, there's no change. There's no resolve. Someone's not ready yet. There's still illusion here. There's illusion, mind games. Someone is still misleading when it comes to deep love, a soulmate, a kindred spirit. Someone is still lacking when it comes to wisdom, knowledge, discernment. This energy is still reckless when it comes to surrendering, releasing, trusting. Not just you, others. This energy has a, a long trail of broken hearts. This energy is not only needing to seek forgiveness from others, but also self. There's a lot of damage they have done to self. Hmm. A lot of things that they may not be able to recover because they're still not genuine about it. So someone wants to mend something with you. Apologize if they have to. But there's no authentic energy here when it comes to someone trying to resolve something, let something go. Someone is not wanting to go deep about whatever illusion this is because it's still a mind game. It's still a game to them. This is someone who's about to reach out to you. Someone who has been at a distance emotionally, physically, mentally. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who knows that if they don't get something right, you're not looking back. Someone feels like they're going to have to bring some type of vision, insight, some type of perception, some clarity. And they feel like they're going to have to move quickly. They're going to have to hurry up. Someone could be impatient here. This could be your energy or theirs. But someone knows that time is running out or time is not on their side. This energy has been hot and cold or even giving you the cold shoulder because there is still some resentment here. They're trying to get their act together. So it seems like someone is getting ready to put on a show of a lifetime because someone is feeling iced out when it comes to you. They're feeling like they're no longer a part of the team, a part of the plan. And they're having some bitter feelings about that. This is a push and pull situation where someone has been very inconsistent here. But I feel they're still holding on because something with you is unfinished. Hmm. They're still thinking, what if? Wow, I feel you could be giving self-love, but I feel there is expectations of harmony, peace, balance. But I feel this energy is just not ready yet. They're still angry. <sighs> this anger isn't attached to you, it's attached to something. But whatever it is, someone is slowly but surely about to get some wrath. The same wrath that has been given, the same energy that has been given, is about to be given back in return. Because from what I can see, this energy has been sensitive and reckless for some time now. And this is why something has been a mixed bag. Something is mixed up or just, there's no clarity. Something is um, left to wonder or mystery. Let's get some more energy here from another deck here. Of course, if you guys have enjoyed the reading up until this point, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Please, man. So this energy is definitely sitting in a space where they're reminiscing. This is why something is a mixed bag. Someone knows what they have to do when it comes to you, but someone is not wanting to fully commit to that. I feel this is someone who wants to bring a sense of clarity, but someone is going to be telling half-truths, leaving something to mystery. Someone is not wanting you to dig deep, but they know you will. Hmm. Wow, someone is very emotionally immature, but you're coming out as being very special to them. I feel like if you didn't get close, I feel like you're the only person that has gotten so close to their heart. I don't see it being anywhere else because this energy is always in disguise when it comes to their feelings, their heart, their emotions. If you were going to break down any walls, it would have happened by now. 
this energy has a lot of walls up it's hard to break through this energy is almost a mystery but I feel something is coming very soon so something is coming very soon this energy is almost dreading it but also excited they are fixated on something this energy is also coming out as angry or even a runner please take it how it resonates but this energy knows in some way somehow something with you was special or they should place you as a priority hmm. So it seems to me this energy has a lot of trust issues. This is why something has left a mystery or someone has it to truly be clear with you, be transparent about something because there's a lack of understanding. Someone has yet to let something go because they're still trying to figure something out. So it seems someone is still trying to figure something out because they're trying to figure out how you became so unbothered. So it's not because you're not thinking about it. And it's not because it doesn't hurt. I feel many of you have to let this go and ignore something because you know this person is a handful. Hmm. There's a lack of understanding. And many of you are just allowing someone to deal with their mess and deal with their karma. And I feel like they're sitting in a space where they're asking why, but someone knows the truth. This energy is very frustrated because you won't allow access to something. Someone lost out on blessings, resources, and a lot of good luck when it comes to your energy. They're frustrated about that. Someone is also realizing you're attached to their blessings. <sighs> Them leveling up. This is something they might not be able to recover with you. For many of you, when you give your all, you truly give your all. And when you don't, you don't. I feel someone may have bl blown their chance or really put things in perspective for you. This is why many of you are sitting in a space where you're allowing them to receive their karma, receive their consequence for causing drama. Hmm. Yeah, someone's no longer on top of the world here. This is someone who has a lot of trust issues and I feel someone is tapping into that someone is triggering them this energy is coming out as a player or someone who likes to play games or someone who just thinks life is a game they're becoming powerless to their own mess there are other energies here who are putting them into cycles of confusion <laughs> and they're wanting you to be sympathetic so someone is confused to why you're not being sympathetic to their issues or their problems. This is someone who has a lot of weaknesses and addictions, even money issues. Someone is doing something in a very impulsive way when it comes to finances and they're upset about who they invested in, who they trusted. Someone is also realizing that you would have never did them this way. You were generous and now you're not. <laughs> wow. Someone is realizing they got nothing out of hurting and disrespecting you because now that they are experiencing the unknown they are wanting to reach out they are wanting to text but their pride their ego is in the way someone is wanting your sympathy or someone is wanting you to give some sort of apology please take it how it resonates that it's not for everyone but someone is knowing that's a closed door and I feel the more you push them away the more they become obsessed someone is wanting to impress this energy is about to come your way strategically. This energy believes that they know you better than that, better than you know yourself. So they're trying to put together a situation or devise a plan to cause some drama or devise a plan to get some sympathy from you. So I feel like this is someone who wants some type of sympathy from you because they feel like you no longer have love for them. This energy feels like you hate them or have some type of hate when I feel many of you have no hate in your heart. It's the fraud and the trickery, the trickery that you cannot deal with. The secrets, the lies, the, the false energy, the side piece, the, the unfinished business of someone just running away, relocating and causing a wedge, being a catfish. I feel this is someone who is realizing they should, never should have played these games or they're coming to their space because this is someone who truly doesn't have anything to hate about you they know it and you know it I feel you're not perfect but you were never the worst 
you were never the worst thing that could have ever happened to them and in fact I feel you were a blessing in disguise and now someone's going to have to see that on their own because it's not something that many of you are willing to prove or even admit or keep revealing to them as it seems the more you try the more ways they find to disappoint you let's get some more energy here Holy Spirit. So for many of you, you're coming out as unbothered. You're having to tap out of something that you once loved. Because it's bringing out a side of you that you, you're you not familiar with. Something that you're not seeing as your best self. It's almost like this person is bringing out the worst in you when you know you can do better with something or someone else. This is someone who is wanting to vent, wanting to talk. Hmm. So it's almost like someone is wanting to talk about the issues here, but it's someone may expose something in a very harsh way. The anger is coming out on top of each other. So it's almost like someone needs to chill out. Someone knows that you are a special person or a missing piece, but someone could be alone because they're angry. Someone needs time management or anger management because they're needing to vent something when it comes to the smoking mirrors of their own life the trust issues that are destroying their relationships things that are shattered broken screw really screwed up because of them this is someone who is making things way more complicated than it needs to be wow and they're sick because they know they screwed something up but they're writing it out so it's like someone's angry upset because they are writing it out in a situation that they don't want to be in and they're upset with you because they know that you're cautious now that you see the truth about who they really are. This is why someone is no longer on top of the world and dealing with their karma and consequence as they're wanting to vent about what they destroy but they're too angry to truly tell the truth. Tell the truth about what they've done. Someone is needing to check themselves because you're protecting yourself. So it seems like something is going up in flames and this is why someone is really sick about what they destroyed with you and this is why someone is wanting to set the record straight again they hate nothing about you but someone is needing to see the truth when it comes to the fake and the phony someone is needing to learn the hard way the difference between salt and sugar because they are not the same even though they look the same someone is getting the reality check of a lifetime when it comes to bad choices because now I feel not only are things going up in flames, things are falling apart as things are now expired, outdated when it comes to someone who should have fought for you. Someone knows for a fact they should have fought for you and now someone is wanting to set the record straight now that things are going up in flames. Someone is wanting to set the record straight but they also feeling like they're angry that you're protecting your energy or cautious of them. Someone is wanting to make you feel guilty for protecting your energy or holding their feet to the fire, wanting the truth or wanting your respect. Someone knows they betrayed you. Someone knows that they are po poisonous when it comes to affairs of the heart, even toxic, but this is the reason why many of you don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear a word they have to say. And this is why someone is in their feelings yet refusing to expose it. Someone's really going to regret writing something out. Someone should be cautious, just as cautious as you are with them. Someone should be cautious with someone around them. This is third party energy here. Third party energy causing a wedge game's over when it comes to a hater so someone also feels like you hate them and this is why hearts are broken someone's trying to brainstorm something when it comes to broken promises this is someone who is trying their best to attract you but i feel someone is willing to do that by any means necessary whether that is through good or bad someone is realizing they may not be able to put you in your place so someone is wanting to check you but that's not going to happen Someone is going to get kicked to the curb or someone is going to realize you're over the drama, you're tired of them. But as I said before, someone is going to put on that show. Do whatever you need, say whatever you need to, they feel that you need to hear, but someone is definitely trying to orchestrate something here. This is someone who's coming at him as a manipulator, someone who is brainstorming, someone who's about to get 
uh, reality check here because you're protecting your energy and not only that you're divinely covered here someone's going through a nightmare or has been a nightmare but I feel you already know the truth you're exposed to something mm -hmm. so you already know the team when it comes to someone who has been a complete nightmare this is why someone is trying to drum up some type of brainstorming energy of some type of fake apology but as I said before you're going to see straight through it it almost seems like someone is about to shoot themselves in the foot when they're aiming at you this is someone who's still keeping secrets about how they threw something away or how they're money hungry or did something that they shouldn't have this is someone who's very paranoid paranoid and in their feelings about you finding out something about them and it's just not something that is surface level or something that you expect this is something that you don't expect in fact something just might be a, a, a drop of a bomb it almost seems like you you know everything this person can truly get into but it just might be this one thing that truly puts the nail in the coffin here I feel this is someone who is now caught up in wanting to burn the evidence of something they're depressed about something because they know they don't have the pieces to this puzzle Someone knows that you are a diamond in the rough. You are not the type of person that they can just replace. Or even find again in this lifetime. Because wherever they at, they are not fulfilled. They are very insecure and giving in to a lot of addictions here. This is someone who is still not being the adult about a situation. And this is why they're receiving total drama. Everything is out of whack and out of order. They're feeling under attack, but it's all because of the games they like to play. Because wherever they are, someone is playing that same game with them. For many of you, this is someone who is wanting to be admitted back in your life. But I feel this is someone who is yet to really tap into what they need to do to be next to you. This is why someone is going through their own nightmare these days. I feel this energy has had yet to be cautious with something. And for many of you, they're about to walk into that regret or they're already sitting into it. This is why someone is going to drastic measures and wanting to come up with a plan about what they shattered or destroyed almost to the point where they're willing to give a fake apology but I feel as I said before many of you already see through it and if they knew you like they thought they did they would know you wouldn't even fall for that. For many of you it's your huge heart that had you attached to this energy or even made you complacent by walking away but I feel it could have been the best thing you could have ever done when it comes to someone who is still sitting in fool's energy wanting to destroy because they're in the energy of being destroyed this is eight of cups energy of someone who walked away here three of pentacles here I feel their finances have been affected and someone is wanting to show you some type of passion, passionate energy so it seems like someone believes they know what you like, so they're going to try to present their energy here, Page of Swords energy, someone that's wanting to communicate, Eight of Wands, Four of Cups in the reverse, wow. past, present, and future energy here, so someone knows they walked away from their future. Now they're trying to remove the obstacles by showing you that they are strong or they're wanting to show you something was a misunderstanding because someone is not wanting to miss an opportunity here with the Four of Cups in the reverse. Someone is not wanting to miss an opportunity so they're about to communicate. Hmm. So it seems like someone is uncertain here with the Moon card because of all the lies, the secrets, and everything that you may have as a receipt. Hmm. But someone is wanting to lay down their roots. Someone is wanting to get closer to you or wanting you to get closer to their unbound, attached for life. But I feel many of you are sitting in the high priestess energy, highly intuitive, queen of wands as well. You know your worth. Someone is going to have to be mindful of their dialogue. Someone is going to have to be mindful of their words, their energy, because you're coming out as intuitive. And this energy is having intrusive thoughts of having to lie to you to get what they want when they just have to tell the truth because truthfully it is the only way and if they ever expect to have any type of trust or even respect from you they're gonna have to be brutally honest with you hmm. but as I said before they don't have the tools for that this is why someone is scheming and plotting scheming and plotting when it comes to something that is unspoken the world card is in the reverse this is someone who just doesn't get it when it comes to the cycles this is someone who is doing things from a very 
toxic or empty space. This is why hearts are being broken. Three of swords, two of swords energy is letting me know that this, this energy thought something was temporary. So someone thought that in time, the dust would settle and you'd let them back in. There would be judgment. Someone knows that you are going to judge them, but someone is wanting time to dissolve the questions that you may have for them. I feel that this is someone who has been silent for some time in an effort to delay something that is definitely inevitable. As time may have also backfired on them because it only allowed you enough time and energy to change. Do what's best for you, Five of Swords. You're coming out as someone who's gone through a lot because you're coming out as not only the the high priestess but the the empress, someone who has unconditional love, and this is why someone even got past you in the first place. So energy thought that you were a fool, but I feel you are no one's fool. You just love someone in a big way. Eight of Swords. Now someone is feeling trapped, thinking they're having to move your way. So someone's going through a lot, whether this is financial, mentally, uh, dealing with others around them. Someone knows they don't fit in. But I feel you taking a stand and making someone deal with their misery and their options and their decisions is the reasons why they're wanting to reattach to you. But I feel something is going to also be a warning for you. You're going to get the sign and you're going to see it because I see accomplishment this is accomplishment. So you're going to see it. Because you sitting in the Empress energy as well as the High Priestess energy. Someone is wanting to get over on you on something here. We have a lot of Swords energy here. Of someone thinking that they could do something in a very conniving way. Page of Swords. Two of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Someone is thinking that they could cut through the fog. Or make you believe something that, it, that isn't true. But I feel you're no longer coming from a space where you're allowing your heart to lead you. I feel many of you are making head over heart decisions. And I feel this energy should not only be aware of it, they should be afraid of it. Because nothing is getting through you. This is someone who will communicate. They think about it a lot. And they're feeling trapped by their thoughts and their emotions and even their feelings. Because they know full well that what they threw away as trash could also be someone else's treasure. I feel this is someone who doesn't like the fact that you are protecting yourself or holding them accountable. This is why someone is walking away or creating obstacles, but now someone is wanting to sh set something straight after what they destroyed because they are heavily burdened by something. This is wish fulfillment energy here of someone knowing that you are a star. Page of Pentacles energy here, Ten of Wands, wow, Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Ace of Cups, something is unspoken here, but someone is going to have to be mindful of the things that they say because you do know your worth. For many of you, this is someone who is thinking about the possibility of communication. Communication is coming out in every deck several times. Someone is going to communicate. For many of you, this is something that you wouldn't care about, really. And most of you, this is unwanted energy. You don't want to see or hear from someone who has shown themselves to be a liar. Someone who is only wanting to get under your skin. Many of you are no longer wanting to justify something that is no longer mutual. But this energy is wanting to make you feel comfortable again. Hmm. But they also know you're going to assess those past actions. And they're not ready to live up to it. All my cards are coming out. Upside down. So someone knows that they're going to have to be brutally honest and they're not ready to do that. There's still deception here. Someone knows that you're going to ask questions that they don't have answers to. Someone knows that you're going to cut through the fog here with the Ace of Swords. Page of Wands energy here. There's no good news here coming from this energy. They're not strong enough. They're dealing with their inner demons. They're still trying to tame some things. And the worst is not over with someone who is still on the fence. This could be your energy as well of being on the fence about something. Someone is still in transition. And this energy is wanting you to believe. Three of Wands. Everything is all good, but it's not. Someone is still yet to bear the past and this is why things have yet to be over for them. Emotional imbalance. 
nine of wands in the reverse someone is yet to let go of their past shadow self so someone is definitely connected to some petty ways some dark ways about them that they feel completes them and this is why someone is still coming out as restless still moving around bouncing them around from flower to flower this is someone who is moving forward six of swords so someone is moving around bouncing around but still not creating or gaining any type of mental clarity queen of swords is in the reverse and someone is knowing that they put you in a very tough position here page of cups communication someone is wanting to talk wanting to make an offer communication here is coming out several times but I feel here with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, this energy just not ready to talk to you. As I said before, someone's going to have to be mindful of the things they do and say, but this energy doesn't have the strength to hold back, restrain themselves, because they're still battling their own demons. These are things that doesn't even pertain to you, but I feel you're affected because this energy effort has failed to let go of some things that has them unhealed and unready to go through a transformation period. This is someone who is still not sitting in a space where they're bound when it comes to affairs of the heart because they're not making heart-based decisions from a very healthy space this is why there is heartbreak when it comes to someone who is still sitting in a space where they think they have options this is why someone is still not being logical and this is why I feel like they're going to put their foot in their mouth when they find a way to communicate with you and whether they communicate on third party energy or um, they find a way to text or reach out or many of you are already saying they know how to reach me this energy is still needing to make something right because they are heavily burdened and they're just wanting to lighten their their load their burden someone knows they hurt you without cause but this energy is coming out as reckless when it comes to something that they know they need to do or say I feel this energy is just not ready to be brutally honest in this mutual exchange and this is why many of you won't be interested you won't be interested and this is why the worst is not over ten of swords in the reverse someone is going to pretend to cut through the fog when it comes to seven of swords energy of deception of why they walked away someone did something abruptly and they're knowing that they're going to have to remove these obstacles and they're just not ready yet just not ready to be the person that they don't even know they should be I feel this is someone who wants to communicate with you. They're still trying to put the pieces of their life. They're connecting everything together. But there's a wedge. Something is keeping this energy at bay. And whether this rejection is your protection. Many of you are in a space where this person is not even a, a thought on your mind. Or this energy is coming out as someone who has ruined something in a big way. But whatever the case is communication that they're planning to have with you. It won't go their way. Caution is coming out. Biggest day here. Shattered energy here of someone wanting to set the record straight because they know they have no reason to hate anything about you. But this energy won't get the value of a second chance. Hmm. Someone wants to, another chance to recover something with you, but they know they're afraid because you've had enough. You've had enough of the chaos, the confusion, the family drama. Please take it how it resonates. Someone wants to make a detour and come back to you. This is why the communication is coming in. But as I said before, it seems like this is someone who is about to reach out, communicate, and remind you in every way why there is distance or separation between the two of you. In fact, this is someone who just might get you second-guessing the urge to even be bothered with them. I feel this is someone who will communicate out of impulse and this is why something will have a downfall. Something will explode when it comes to someone wanting to set the record straight. Because there is still secrets when it comes to someone who is emotionally imbalanced, emotionally afraid. You got too close. Hmm. Almost like you were too good to be true when it comes to someone who is spoken, coming out as a fraud, still pretending and wasting time, even though they know they went the wrong way. Hmm. I feel like after all this drama and disrespect, this is someone who feels like you just might take them back. Hmm. This is why they feel like, why not take that chance? This is why someone is on a detour and trying to burn away the past but it's starting to be a heavy task someone is afraid that you won't fight for them or even give you give you give in to their energy this is why someone is wanting to pretend like something is a misunderstanding so there's some unexpected situations here that they're dealing with something could be exposed Something is blowing up in their life and it's starting to make them feel guilty. I mean, if you feel like there's no guilt in their heart, but someone deals with that behind the scenes. 
There's a lot of drama, third party energy here. Oh wow. Outside influences. Someone is really angry because they now feel trapped in some type of power moment. Someone knows they told a lot of lies and is starting to catch up with them. This is why someone is in some type of emotional storm. Someone could be running towards you because they're running from something. Hmm. So, as I said before, this is someone who doesn't truly know how to love without doing it out of convenience. Wow. This is not someone who has an intelligent heart. Someone thought that you would wait. Wow. But you're not. That is not your energy. Someone is awakened to something when it comes to your energy. You're not falling for it. Not this time. Many of you may have your heart on lock. So, I feel like this is someone who's in their emotions, in their feelings about something not going their way, something not working out, but I feel it's the secrets that's causing something to be more tragic. Wow. Someone knows they have no reason at all to hate anything about you, but someone's just so screwed up when it comes to choices and even affairs of the heart being authentic or even giving into connections. Someone truly didn't know what to do with you. Which is why it almost feels like they're constantly pushing you away. This is someone who is emotionally detached because they don't want to feel the pain or acknowledge the things they have done. But someone is like sitting in a space where they can't help but to reach out. Mm. But they're still lost. Lost to the fact that their words and their actions is the reason you don't fool with them. Or the reason they, they don't come out as a safe space. Because you really, they don't have a reason to hate anything about you. No reason at all. Because you're everything they wanted, everything they prayed for. But they're too afraid to show true emotion. But I feel their shame and their pain would keep them from their biggest blessing. It only brings trauma, more addiction, hidden energy of pain. So it seems you left a mark on this energy who knows they owe you more than they have given. This energy is coming out as a twin flame where many of you have learned a lesson because they are a lesson. Wow. This energy looks for you and other people. This is how much they miss you. Someone's not wanting to admit that you are everything that they needed. But they are lying to you because they are also lying to themselves. This energy is lying to you because they are not sure how to deal with the emotions or unfamiliar feelings that they're experiencing. Hmm. But this is not gameplay. Someone needs to grow up because they are definitely exhausting. For many of you, someone thought that you would be weak. But I feel this is some type of wake-up call for someone who thought that you would be hopeless or in some type of despair. Despair. <laughs> So it seems someone is in a wake-up call when it comes to dependency or thinking that you would be dependent on them. I feel this is someone who is about to be drowning in their own weaknesses and despair because they're about to realize that love is not just some words that they say from their mouth or keep at bay. Love is an action, something that should be shown. Hmm. There's a huge lesson for them to learn from this and for many of you holding back or not giving in to this person in their words is what's going to teach them a very valuable lesson about playing games with the hearts of others. I feel this is someone who has a lot of secrets or third party attachments that cause a lot of toxic energy. This energy is coming out as judgmental, toxic or even a narcissist. Mm. But I feel no matter how toxic and narcissistic they are they can't get you off their head so I feel like this energy has you on their mind and in their head because they're rem reminiscing about things they have done that wasn't called for I feel this is someone who wishes they treated you better but I feel this is someone who also knows they don't know how this energy really never treated anyone as good as they have treated you they're on a very dark path here but even though they know time is not on their side, they're moving quickly. Something is coming soon when it comes to some type of call. Someone reaching out to you. But someone's going to realize that the way that you were is just not the way that you are anymore. I feel your energy is locked. 
your conscious, your intuition is definitely heightened in this season. Hmm. And someone is needing to be more honest if they ever expect to get it right. But I feel like this is someone who is going to have to learn some things through some blood, sweat, and tears because of how they choose to live their life. And even though they hate nothing about you, it doesn't feel that way. All because of their heartless ways, someone's about to experience some life, some life lessons that they never thought that they would experience this way. Because it almost seems like they don't give a fuck at all. It almost seems like they have not a care in this world. But I feel it's only them pretending. Pretending not to deal with their hidden pain. But I feel deep down they only want to set this record straight. I feel this is someone who is sitting in hangman energy, but these pentacles is letting you know they invested in the wrong things. I feel this is someone who has been torn down six times, or there's six situations here. There's many situations that are causing a problem that this energy has failed to cut or let go. Someone also feels like there's evidence against them. Someone could be bribing them or holding something over their head, causing them to make the choices that they make. But I feel this is someone who knows that they are free to do what they want, but they're still not moving. Chariot energy here. Someone's not moving because they drank out of they drank the Kool-Aid. Someone's pretending to be innocent here. So it seems like they trust the wrong person and not thinking about it now. Someone knows that you would have never treated them in this way. Someone is dealing with a toxic situation where they thought there was love and it isn't. The lover's card is coming out in the reverse and someone is going to regret drinking the Kool-Aid or just uh, existing in a situation where someone was pretending to be nice. Now someone is thinking about putting all of this in their river mirror. Someone is thinking about running from a situation. As I said before, this energy is now realizing someone who was pretending to be nice is actually very vicious. Hmm. So this energy is thinking about how they pretended everything was going according to plan when everything was simply falling apart. I feel now their mental state is in question or truly affected or even fragile because of a third party. I feel this third party has others around them who is also stabbing them in the back. They're stepped here. Someone is definitely thinking about home, thinking about you. Someone is thinking about how they put you in the energy of the tower energy here where you're defensive or watching them have some type of suspicion someone is thinking about that someone is hoping to put it in their rear view mirror but someone is also knowing something has just gone too deep I feel justice is being served and even if you feel like something is happening or not someone is really going through it behind the scenes this is causing someone to reach out because they know without a doubt they were a fool Someone knows they were foolish. Someone knows they shouldn't have never teamed up with someone else. But now the justice is stepping into play. Someone's going to regret ever playing their part in this. Because this is definitely very toxic. Hmm. I feel like this energy was holding on to a very toxic situation or third party. Hoping that it would bring them some type of status. Hmm. Or they thought they were going to get something out of it. This is why someone is now feeling like fool for going too deep because there's no way out. If they're not thinking about it now, they're going to be thinking about it because it's going to be something that they were soon want to put in their past. In their rear view mirror. But I feel there's so much evidence against this energy or against this third party. It's going to be detrimental. I feel there's going to be some arguments. There could also be some physical fights here. Please take it how it resonates. But I feel the same way they hurt you is the same way someone's about to get hurt. Oh, someone knows they drained you by making a deal with the devil someone feels they connected themselves to the wrong person but now that you are on the defense someone's going to have to deal with what they have given hmm. so it seems like someone's trying to ride something out when they know deep down there is nothing to be gained because deep down they really wish things were the same but I feel this is someone who is just tired of hiding something and they're just wanting to set the record straight about what they destroyed. But it's, like I said, it's a mixed bag because this energy feels like if you test them or push them too far, they're just going to bigger with you. They're going to be combative. They're going to argue with you. 
someone knows that you don't trust them but they're still fixated on something because they're sick <laughs> sick and tired or this energy could <laughs> really be sick this is someone who knows nothing else compares but they're trying to get their mindset together but I feel they'll never truly get there someone knows that what you had with them was electri electric their heart is in knots, they crave you in many ways, but someone is also being mysterious, hoping that something revokes some type of energy out of you. This is someone who knows that nothing really compares. They're over this third party situation, but someone is still not in a space where they have hit their rock bottom to truly give you the respect that you reserve. I feel this is someone who wants you to let the love in, but this energy doesn't have that that tool, that energy that is needed to help this go the distance for them to maintain it someone wants you to soften your heart hmm. someone wants you to soften your heart and be generous again because they know this was an uplifting connection someone is wanting to tempt you to a connection someone wants you to be mesmerized by them because they're not wanting to deal with their unfamiliar feelings but this is someone who is still not accepting something Still not accepting the journey that they created. They're struggling. Struggling on this solo path and wanting to circle back to you. Causing someone to question everything. But still not wanting to acknowledge the true pain they put you through. I feel like this energy is just tired of putting on some type of act. When they know they have lost interest in this third party or even the environment. And whether that's emotionally, mentally, or even sexually. I feel they have checked out gotten bored <sighs> hating that they invested or even got lost in this toxic energy that they allowed in their life because they're now realizing they allowed their destiny to be put in the hands of someone just as diabolical as they are this energy is codependent or bound in some way <sighs> Someone's confused by some pipe dreams here. This could be the third party as well, but I feel there's no victories, small victories, but I feel it's only the smoke and mirrors here because someone is truly missing you and doing it silently. I feel like someone's missing you silently here and wanting to take a roll of advice because someone is wanting to repair the road to home. Someone is contemplating silently because they know nothing else compares. As I said before, this is someone who looks for you and other people and I feel there is heavy regret that they're not wanting to tap into. As I said before, there are a lot of unfamiliar feelings here and someone's feeling like to satisfy their urge, to satisfy their need, someone's going to have to circle back. But someone is really missing the core to why they have been rejected from you or they can't have access to you. They have yet to evolve. Hmm. So someone has yet to evolve here. And this is why there are lessons in progress for them. They thought there were other fish in the sea. They scattered their energy. And they were very careless with their actions. And now someone is falling too deep. Hmm. But I feel it's also reaching a, a conclusion when it comes to someone who was blinded by your light. I feel like this is someone who was blinded by your light because they were sitting in dark spaces. Now they're drowning in that same pain that caused time to slip away. So it seems like someone was trying to use this time as a tool and now it's their worst enemy. Mm. Because now, because of these endless games, someone has allowed something as great as you are to slip away, slip right through their fingers. Mm. I feel time got away because something is getting in the way. This could be interferences, foes, their party, friends they thought were close who now are enemies. Someone failed to master self and they gave into codependent ways or trying to impress those who were never worth the impression. Mm. So they fell into weaknesses, sin, and temptation. And now they're dealing with their mistakes through their lessons. Mm. But I feel this communication is coming from the space of now or never. Someone is wanting to send a message. This is communication that is arriving, coming your way. Someone is composing their energy, composing their thoughts. This is someone who sees you as a divine connection, but I feel many of you have changed your perspective perspective because you're no longer thinking about the potential of who they could be when you now know who they are. 
I feel it's the fact that this energy is dealing with this uncomfortable karma that has them in this guilty energy, a guilty conscience where someone was too prideful to tell you the truth or speak their truth because now that they are dealing with this dense baggage of untold information and hidden truth, this energy is wanting that unconditional love that you were once offering them. This energy wants you to see yourself in them, wanting that sympathy, but I feel a sympathy they won't receive. Someone has universally cursed themselves, not just by destroying what they have with you, but also cursing other energies that they hurt, threw away. Someone will be surprised by their karma, because trust me, this will be a true awakening when it comes to someone who loves to play games of the heart. I feel you shouldn't be very surprised when it comes to this energy reaching out to you. Because, I mean, you are the best they could have ever had. However, I do feel Spirit wants you to remember the pain they caused and how you deserve so much better. Because in knowing you deserve better, it only brings what you thought was impossible your way. However, I do feel allowing them to avoid their karma by being allowed back into your energy, even though they have put no true effort in recovering what they know they have lost, will only allow them to avoid their karma for a moment. But I feel their pain, their misery, and looking in the mirror day to day will last a lifetime. As I sense, you should continue to steer clear of this energy who seems to still be a work. In progress. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and